My girlfriend over 20 years has been dating this guy. She's in love with him. All she does is brag about how good he is to her, etc., etc. But, the bus and all cap, y'all. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Erica. Please do subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you know when I post a brand new video. I would love to have you become a part of the eFam. So today guys, let me tell you what we are eating. I have some lobster tails, I have some king crab legs with a special sauce, and I also have some red beans and rice that I made with some turkey sausage that was charred black, y'all. It's so bomb. So, so this is what I'm eating today, and I also have orange Fanta to drink. I really was in a mood for this. Um, so I'm going to get started eating, and I also have an e-letter I'm going to read. So y'all stick around for that. So let's get started. So I missed y'all so much. Y'all don't understand. Look, with everything going on, it is holding up everything, y'all. Everything. It's holding up everything. This sauce was hot. You know I like it to sit, but it's hot today, so we'll see how it is. I like it to be a little bit thicker, but I'm hungry. Mm. It's not that hot. It's good, y'all. Mmm. I miss y'all so much. Mmm. That cut me. For everybody that's messaging me about the sauce, I'm working on something right now, y'all. So it's really hard to get the supplies you need, y'all. Like, I know at one point, Sam's Club had the butter, you only could get it. One at a time, one per member. They was acting crazy, y'all. I guess people was hoarding all the stuff, so the butter was hard to get. So those will be available. Mm, that's good. Soon enough. I want all these onions and stuff on here, y'all. I am so hungry. I ain't eat nothing. I ain't eat nothing. First thing, y'all. Look at that. I spilled on me already. I ain't even been eating for three minutes. Not even three minutes, y'all. Mm. So I hope you all having a great Tuesday. Monday, I mean, I'm sorry. It's only Monday. My days be all mixed up now. All mixed up. Kids don't got to go to school. Days all mixed up. I hope you're good. I hope you guys are having a great Monday. That's what I meant to say. That's what I meant to say, y'all. Don't get on me. But it's so good. Red beans are rice, y'all. Red beans are rice. I don't know if people eat it like soupy. I sometimes want a soupy, but today I want it a little thicker. I don't know why. But I like to eat it with some bread, too. A piece of bread. Or some cornbread. Either one. And I didn't have no cornbread mix. I don't have all the stuff to make cornbread, so I was like, dang, I want some cornbread so bad. 
But I didn't have the stuff, y'all. I think I got four lobster tails, y'all. Four lobster tails. Look at this, y'all. Nicely seasoned. Nicely seasoned. Mmm, mmm. Ooh, that was banana peppers. I want them. Mmm. This tastes cold. I hope it's done. It surely tastes done, but this is cold. Why not? But it's sitting that long. Mmm. Of course, it's cold, y'all. Never took me longer than usual to put my makeup on. I don't know. But it's good. Oh, the spice. The sauce is not, not unbearable spicy. It is spicy. But I think it's spicy after you eat it for a while. I don't think that it's spicy like when you first eat it. Delicious. Excuse me. If you never had red beans and rice, you're missing out. This is so good, y'all. So I hope everybody's taking care of yourself, trying to stay active, eat right, do all that stuff. Because right now is like the most crucial time you should be doing that. The most crucial time. You should be eating right and working out and stuff like that. I know it's hard, though. Mmm, it's hot. I'm bracing now. I gotta give me some lobster tails. This must be gone. Mm. The, the red beans and rice is spicy. I, that's probably what's more spicy. I'm thinking it's the sauce, but it's probably this. I forgot this is spicy. I got one more lobster tail left, y'all. But I'm going to read this e-letter. Because I need y'all opinion on this e-letter. I really do. I really, really do, y'all. I already got it up. It's right here. So, I'm going to get ready to read it to y'all. I need some stuff on here first. What's that? Let me see my phone up. It says, my girlfriend over 20 years has been dating this guy. She's in love with him. All she does is brag about how good he is to her, etc., etc. But, the bust in all caps, y'all. But, recent news has circulated that he's bisexual. He likes men and women. This is what's in parentheses. I know it isn't, it isn't any of my business, honestly. But this is my friend and I feel wholeheartedly I should tell her. So wholeheartedly I should let her know, I'm sorry. Because back to previously when I said news has circulated, well, my sister's best friend, male cousin, 
is gay and has photos of them to prove it. What should I do? Help. Okay. Oh. My mouth is burning, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. You know, I want to like mind my business. I don't wanna spread news. But if this was like my sister or somebody that I was cool with for years like that. I would have to tell her. I would have to show her the pictures or something so she gets some type of proof because, you know, for me, I just don't, I just don't like to get in the middle of somebody's business, especially like a man and a woman, because like a woman, when they in love, they go hard for that man. When they in love, when they're in love, nobody can tell you nothing about that man. There's nothing they can tell you. There's, you're just in love. And I don't know if you got a boyfriend or whatever, a man, a husband. But if you don't, a person, well, if this is your friend of 20 years, she knows you. She knows you up and down, back back and forth. She knows everything about you. She knows when you're, she knows how you are. So if you tell her, I think she'll believe you. I don't think she'll feel like you're hating because you don't have a boyfriend or a man or a husband. I don't feel like she's like think would think you're jealous of her relationship unless she's experienced that with you before. But other than that, I believe that if you were to bring this to her, especially with the proof, I don't think that she would not believe you. And I think that that is your close friend, almost like family. That is your family. You should tell her what you know about this man, because that's not that's not right that he's doing that to her because it's unsafe. It's unsafe and he's lying to her. I think you should definitely without a doubt tell your friend that this man is doing what he's doing because it's not right it's not right at all he's lying to her and i don't think you you didn't say how long she's been dating him but he that's something you gotta tell somebody a friend you need to tell somebody a friend if you want to do this and do that you got to tell somebody that you cannot hide that from somebody i think that's something that should be upfront because i don't know it's just unfair so i think you should tell your friend without a doubt so y'all E film, let her know in the comments what she should do in this situation. Because I said my part on it. I said what I I said what I would do. I said how I feel about it. And I think that's basically it. Cause it's just not right. I just think it's unfair that he's running around doing this and she's thinking he's one way, she's in love with him. And then it's just not good. It's not good for I mean, because who knows if he's doing that with the other side too. Lying to them, telling them this is what he is, me while he's over here with this woman, he's with this woman. And they don't know. It's just a dangerous game. Like, I just don't think that he should be playing this game. And if you can out him, I will out him. To somebody like my sister or my family member or my friend. And this girl, in this case, is like your family. This is somebody you know, you said, for 20 years. 20 years. I would tell her. Without a doubt. Without a question, I would tell her. But like I said, E-Fam, you tell her in the comments. What she should do in this situation? Should she ban her business because her friends are in love? Or she just should she just keep it real with her friends? Tell her like this is what I this is what I've heard. I've seen this. I got proof of this. Yeah, I don't know. I would I would definitely <laughs> So good luck with that situation. I hope everything works out and I hope that she you know, makes a decision off based off of what you tell her. Because he should have told her itself. But in other news, y'all, I hope that you all are maintaining your health. And I'm talking about mentally. With everything that's going on. I hope that everybody's maintaining their health. I hope that everybody is, um, you know, trying to find ways to, you know, live in this situation we're going through. Because I know for me, it's been like really hard trying to do what I usually do with the limitations we have. Like it's been really hard trying to record videos and not have the supplies you need and not really trying to go outside. You know what I'm saying? Like not trying to really go out to get these things, but you need these things because you wanna, you know, I wanna come and interact with you guys and I wanna talk to you guys and I wanna come make my videos like, like usual, but I have to go out and get the stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like I have to go out and get 
the stuff for my sauce. I have to go out and get these the, the crab legs and the lobster tails and stuff. The places I usually go, I just don't want to travel and do those things. Like, I don't want to have to go out if I don't have to. So, that's the reason why the, the videos, besides me fulfilling orders and stuff like that, the videos were, you know, they were, you know, sporadic and they were out of order and stuff like that. Usually, you know, I always record Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I would have a video posted for you guys, but with everything going on, it's just been so hard to adjust to the way life is. Not being able to just up and go when you want, not being able to just, you know, stores close at a certain time. I went to Home Depot. And there was a line. They had a person standing at the door so that you can, they can monitor how many people's in the store. Like, this, it was just crazy. It was just crazy stuff. Like, stuff that I would never, ever, you know, I never thought I'd see in my life. Like, that's stuff I see on the movies. And then, on top of that, I went to, excuse me, Sam's Club. I had a whole bunch of butter in my cart. And I went to check out. It was like one per member. And I'm like, how can any business, I mean, there's still restaurants that you can, you know, pick up from and stuff like that. I'm like, how can these business thrive off of being able to get limited supplies? Like, you can't. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, I've been maneuvering some other things to, you know, make things happen. So, if you're looking for sauce, just be patient with me. I will be restocking as soon as I find a place I can get all the stuff I need without them limiting me. Because right now, they're giving you a limit on what you can get because people are hoarding things. And so, um, there's some places that I, I know that are like restaurant places, so I'm going to try to go to those places and get the supplies. Um, but yeah, just really get you down. Just really, just, it just really like leave you like feeling like I can't do this. Like, or, or not so much that I can't do it, but it just make you feel like I just don't want to go through all that. Like, it's just a lot to go through be, to do normal things that I used to do. Like, it's a lot to do these videos. Like I said, I don't want to go out. And then sometimes I might have to take Kyla with me to go. And I don't want to take her with me. I don't, want to, I don't want my kids going out. I don't want them doing, you know, going with me, doing the regular things that I used to do that they used to go with me to do. Like, you know, so it just makes it harder. And I know that's for everybody. They feel like their life has changed drastically. I know mine has. Where it just makes me like, how am I supposed to do this? Like, how am I supposed to live doing, how am I supposed to maintain doing everything I usually do, but I can't go get the things I need. I can't go out, you know, I can't, I got to wait in line to get things. You know, you just like, forget it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to record the videos for y'all, but it's like, it's limitations on stuff. And this is crazy. And I pray for everybody. I pray for all of you. I pray for everybody to stay safe. I pray for everybody to not come in contact with this virus. I pray for you guys all the time because there are people dying from it. And so that is the reason why I don't really want to go outside. And I know people are saying, like, this is the crucial time you should be recording. Yeah, but how are you going to record when you don't have the stuff that you usually do? You don't have the things and the items, the stuff you like to eat, the stuff that y'all want to see me eat. And you can't get that stuff. It's not easy to get it. So it's, like, really crazy. It's really hard. Like, I'm at Amazon. Like, ordering stuff from Amazon, it was taking forever for stuff to get here. I'm like, this is just crazy. It's just so, so crazy how the world is working right now. And I understand they're trying to do it for our safety. I understand that. I respect that. But it just hinders. Uh, I know it's hindering a lot of people. I know for me, it, it's hindering me. It's hindering me and it's making me not want to do it. It's making me not want to get up to record a video. It's making me not want to, um, <clears throat> you know, sell the sauce because it's like I got to find the stuff. It's taking me forever to find the stuff to make the sauce. But I'm not going to give up. I'm going to pray on it like I've been doing. I've been praying for y'all. I've been praying for my family. I've been praying for myself. I'm praying on this situation. Praying that this all just goes away and God can just heal us all. Um, and that's what I'm going to continue to do. So y'all just, just ask y'all to be patient with me because I am going to try to... I have a project that I'm doing right now. So I have. I, have, I ask y'all to be, please be patient with me with my videos. And please be. I'm going to try my best to try to keep them on track as long as I have this stuff. But I pray for y'all to um, be patient with the sauce. I will be putting more on the site soon. Um, yeah, so it's just it's just crazy. So I hope you're all maintaining with, with your health, your mental health, um, finding the ways to cope. If you don't have, you know, if you feel like you're having a bad day, call somebody close to you. You know, call somebody close to you. Shoot, if you're having a bad day and you feel like you want to talk about something, DM me on Instagram. You can DM me. I, my DM's always open. You can DM me if you have a situation you want to talk about. Whatever it is, please don't hesitate. To deal with me and we can go back and forth discussing whatever you're going through because 
I know this time is really hard and you need somebody to talk to. Some people don't have anybody. It's I live with people, but the thing is that everybody don't have that luxury to have somebody to live in the house with them. You know, stuff like that. So I know it's hard. It's really hard. They done took the hoops down on the, at the basketball courts. They said they're going to have uh, police monitoring the, the playgrounds. Like, this is crazy. Like, these kids, my nephew, when I'm going to see my nephew, he was, like, trying to fly out the door with me. Because he wants to go outside. You know what I'm saying? He's a baby. He's he's a baby. He want to go outside. He see us open the door. He's like, I want to go outside, too. <laughs> but you can't even let him outside. You know, my sister did take him, like, on a porch and stuff like that so he can have some fresh air. But, you know, these kids want to do stuff, and they can't even do it. It's, like, crazy. I just never in my whole years of living thought that I would see anything like this. An epidemic where people are losing their life. Everything's shut down. You can't do the normal stuff you do. I can't get my nails done. You can't go get your hair done. You can't go to the mall. You can't you can't basically do anything. You want I'm even scared to even order food. Because there's people out here doing nasty stuff to people's food you know there's people just doing crazy stuff it's just crazy it really is it really is but i'm just telling you and just try to do things to keep your mental intact that's all i'm saying i'm praying for you all i love you all and um i'm gonna try my best to be on here even if i could eat whatever's in my freezer y'all it might not be seafood if i can't get seafood because of whatever reason they limit me i haven't went to my fish market Lately, I happen to have this seafood already in here, and I try to hold it, um, the seafood I do have. I do have some seafood, but I've been trying to limit it because if I eat every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, of course, that's already basically my seafood gone. So I've been trying to limit what I eat because I know y'all don't watch when I would do anything else. So um, I've been trying to save it. So I'm going to try Woolies and see if they give me a limit on how many lobster tails I get because I usually go and get like 15 at a time. And crab legs at Sam's Club, I usually get like three or four packs at a time and just put it in my deep freezer. But like I said, I haven't went to see if they limit me on those type of things. But they definitely was limit me, limiting, 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 <laughs> limiting the butter and like other stuff in the store. It was just, it was just ridiculous. Like y'all, I was like, what if people have businesses like me? You know, like what if there's a business person that sells food? What are you going to do? What, what are you going to do? You want to tell them they could get one butter? I don't know. So I might have to just go and I don't know. I'll figure it out, y'all. But if I get on here and we just chit chat and talk or if I do some lives, y'all let me know if y'all want that. I know a lot of people come to see seafood, but if they limit me, if they give me a limit, I don't know why I'm having a hard time with that word. If they give me a limit on the seafood, then I'm just going to do like what I could do, what I have here and be creative. Um, and hopefully you guys will still come over. I'm just going to try to come over just so I can see you. Um, so that's it, y'all. I don't know. Mm, I'm going to talk for a long time. But I just really had to get that out because I was like, I was so worried about you guys. Because I was like, if I'm feeling like this, I'm, I know my, my, my e-film is probably, you know, some, some of my e-film who, who can't go to work, can't do this, the normal things they do. You know, there's teachers, excuse me, that don't go to work. There's just certain things that people do every day that they just had to shut off doing you know and that's like that's why i wanted to talk to you guys so um, if you're still here i appreciate you but i just wanted to have the heart to heart with you guys because i really do really do care about you guys and like i said the mental part of this is like the main thing that i'm like concerned about because just shutting off your whole world, not be able to walk out your door and do everything you want to do, anything you want to do. You're like limited to what you can do. Like that's that's crazy to me. It's so crazy to me that I can't just go to the mall. Like, cause I really didn't do stuff. I didn't really do anything when they before the stuff. I didn't really do anything. I did the normal stuff. Go shopping. Go pick my kids up from school. Take my kids to school. Um. Get yeah, going shopping for my house, going shopping for the videos. Um, you know, those are the normal things I do. Went to get my nails done, hair store, you know, stuff like that was the, was the normal stuff I did. I didn't really do much anyway. But just the fact that somebody tell you you can't do those little bit of things, it's just, and there's people that probably do way more than me. They probably do way more than I do. And it's, I, mean, I know there is, but now they're limited to doing nothing. You can't do anything. Like it's 
it's crazy. I pray for the kids who are stuck at home and, you know, don't get along with their parents or the husband and wife that don't get along that usually go do things so that they can, you know, not have to deal with each other. Um, I pray for all that. I pray for peace. I pray for this to just go away as soon as possible and everybody is safe and everybody is okay. That's what I pray for. That's all I pray for. Um, so, yeah. And one more thing, y'all. Also, make sure you're drinking like orange juice, taking vitamin C, anything that boosts your immune system. Anything that boosts your immune system. I, I've been taking probiotics now. I've been taking vitamin C. I've been taking vitamin C, but I have vitamin C and I also have like a um, powder vitamin C that you can put inside any drink. You put in water, you can put, if you don't have, um, I don't remember the name of what it is, but I did get off of Amazon, but it's a powder. It's a big bottle of vitamin C powder. Uh, crystals or something and you can put it in water you can put it in any drink so if you don't if you're not able to buy um orange juice you could just have that powder and you can put it in anything you're still getting your your vitamin c intake it's a whole bunch it's like a thousand mg and it's like a crystal bottle so you could, i have that i have the vitamins the vitamin c tablets i mean and i also have probiotics so i've been taking all those things to boost my immune system and i've also been sleeping with a humidifier just so i can keep my um, you know, you keep it moist. You're, you're you know, because they said I already said this in one of my videos, but but I was watching something with a uh, Italian. I don't know if she was a doctor. I don't know what she was. I don't. I just was listening to the audio, but she was saying that they had said from the autopsy from the people that died in Italy, were they died from the mucus. The mucus, they this mucus was so thick it suffocated on was in their, you know, they couldn't breathe from the mucus being so thick. So they did advise it to drink warm liquids and, you know, like hot teas, warm liquids and stuff like stay with stuff, stay away from things that make mucus, can create mucus. Um, and yeah, just try to boost your immune system, y'all. That's all you need to do, you know, because you don't want to live in fear. Don't live in fear. You know, don't live in fear. Like I'm, I'm not living in fear. I'm just, I'm careful and I'm aware. But I don't want to be afraid to do anything or I don't want them to scare me. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't want to do anything. You don't want to be in fear. That's all I'm saying. So if you take care of yourself and do the things that you know they're saying is the cause. If you go the opposite and try to, you know, not help the cause, not help the virus get you, then I think you'll be okay. And I'm not saying that you're going to, there's any way you can just stop it from being, you you getting it. But you can help if you did have it. You can help yourself, you know, live through it. Those are the things that I said. They said the mucus was the main thing that people die from. So try to thin out that mucus, y'all. So I'm going to let y'all go. I know I've been talking and my, computer, my camera's going to cut off. <laughs> yeah, y'all. So my, my camera's going to cut off. So yeah, I'm gonna get ready to go. I'm gonna try to do a video on Tuesday, back to Monday, Wednesday, and I said Tuesday. I am all over the place, y'all. I don't even know what days it is. But I'm gonna try to record a video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and try to do, get some lives in there. Cause I don't be doing nothing. It's just that I don't have the supplies to come on her every single day. So I don't I don't have the supplies to do it every single day. And I still have orders that I have to fulfill. Um, so that takes a lot of my time, me fulfilling the order. So I will try my best to get on here. It's more, most, most often, <laughs> if that's a word that I can, because I can come see y'all and we can chit chat in the comments. And like I said, if you're having a bad day, if you're having a bad day, please, please don't hesitate. Please don't hesitate to DM me. My Instagram name is eat, eat with E. And, um, I check that regularly. I check that regularly I, <laughs> I check that often so if y'all want to dm me please don't hesitate to dm me if you just want to you know say hey erica today i'm having a bad day or hey erica today i just wanted to say hello or whatever it is just don't hesitate because our mental health is is so important right now so i'm gonna get out of here make sure you subscribe if you're new I would love to have you become a part of the eFam and make sure you hit the notifications bell so you do know when I post. And also follow me on Instagram. The name is Eat Eat with E. And um, also, if you want to know when I'm going to have sauce available, I will post it on here on YouTube. And I will also post it on Instagram when I restock the sauce. So that way you guys don't have to worry about, you know, trying to figure out when I'm restocking. I will definitely let you guys know when I restock it. 
So um, that's it. So I ask you guys to please stay safe. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Drink the warm liquids. Get boost your immune system up. Stay away from stuff that create mucus. Um, yeah, and that's it, y'all. So I love y'all. I love y'all so much. And um, I will try my best to stay on schedule. Don't hold me to it, but I will try my best to stay on schedule. And um, that's it. So I will catch you guys on the next video. Until then, bye-bye.